hey you guys welcome back to my channel so it's me matt or whatever and we are back with a brand new game and a brand new video <laughs> so i know you guys was probably expecting something like cave story or even shadow the hedgehog or even children but <clears throat> for this week's video we are going to be playing mass effect now i'm gonna just give y'all a little quick like background on like how i got into this game and why i'm playing this game um, I got into this game during 2020, during quarantine, so last year, I was looking for games to play on my Xbox 360, and I was basically, I basically went online and, like, looked up, like, the most popular 360 games that you, like, basically, like, must-haves, long story short. And this was one of the games that came up, and I did some research into it, and y'all already know, like, one of, the, one of the main reasons why I got this game is because it takes place in space, it's set in a, um, a futuristic time no it's, it's a futuristic setting <laughs> futuristic setting where basically people live like in space long story short i figured instead of restarting that file that i was playing it might be better to just jump in with a brand new character and why not do a video on it so this is gonna be a new series for the channel i hope you guys enjoy and i'm gonna just shut up and we're gonna get into this i'm telling you guys this game is fucking amazing all right Hope everything's good. Here we go. All right. Okay, so like I said, it comes with one, two, and three. Obviously, we starting with one. So here we go. I'm so excited to get back into this. So. So yeah, this game came out in 2007, and honestly, sorry, I hit the mic with my fucking um, shoulder, my fault, but honestly, this game is really, really impressive for a game that came out that long ago. Um, what's extras? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Start new career. Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. So basically, this is basically the character creation where we make our character. You could either be a boy, you could be a woman, or you can make your own fucking name. You can do your own stats. Obviously, that's what we're going to do. Because I'm not making my name John Shepard. Like, bitch, no. Um, you can't change your last name. No. I want to create my character. Stop. You can't change your last name. Your last name is always going to be Shepard. At least, that's how it was in the 360 version. And the reason for that is because the NPCs and stuff, they address you as Shepard. But you could change your first name. So, obviously, we're going to change our name to... Deku. Please log in to access your profile. Okay. Shit is so like y'all. Like I said, y'all know I love data corruption detected. Please oh. reconstruct profile. Okay, yeah. So we gotta Confirm create our character. Confirm pre-service history. All right. So this part, you basically have to pick like your backstory. Um, for the first character I did, I believe I picked Earthborn, but let's just read through all of them. So the first one is Spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they were transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Then we have colonists. You were born and raised on Mendor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mendor, slaughtering your family and friends. You are saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. And then we have Earthborn. You are an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. So... Honestly, I think I'm going to go with Earthborn again. And the reason why is because I really, I just feel like it's a really cool idea 
you're, you was born on Earth, you're stuck on Earth, and then to get away from all the dumb shit that happens on Earth, you enlisted with the Alliance, which is basically like the military in space, and got the fuck up out of there, like, period. We Earth born, y'all. psychological profile. So, this is basically more of an extension towards your backstory. A mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. That's a little bit emo for me. I don't think I, I don't think I picked that one. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your, f your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. And then we have Ruthless. <laughs> Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Another cool thing about this game, um, you basically get to pick your character's personality and you get to respond to situations in the ways that you want to. And y'all gonna see more of what I mean. But these are important because these basically... These, these... These questions or these these options, I should say, basically determine from your backstory whether you start off as like, for simpler terms, a good guy or like a fucking bitch. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't. Let's do Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. All right, so now you basically get to pick your class. So now. The first time I played, I want to say I was, I think I was an infiltrator. Um, I don't know what class I want to be this time. And I'll just, I'm just going to, um, go through all of them and let you guys see. You could just pause the video if you want to read it. Do I want to be a soldier? Improve health, specialize in the use of all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor. Engineer. I was an engineer because I really like the decrypting security systems. I feel like if I was in a, a um, a situation like this, I would specialize in that because I know I'm a tricky bitch. Adapt. Biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, disable or destroy enemies. Infiltrator. Yeah, I, you know, I think I was an infiltrator. Sentinel. Hmm. Vanguard. Um. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with Infiltrator again. I'm pretty sure I went with this the last time. It was either Infiltrator or Engineer. But I like disabling enemies. I love my motherfucking pistols. <laughs> and. I don't think that I will be a flat out healer. I feel like I will support the team in other ways. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with infiltrator again. Confirm I am. facial identification. All right, let me just change my appearance real quick because girl, girl kaboom. No, I I I, I don't want to look I don't want to look Mexican. I want to look black. Please, like oh my god, I'm black. Uh, all right, we done. I feel like y'all. Is this my color? Is this my color? I don't know. Do I look black to y'all? Cause I really don't know. Like I don't know, but this is what we, this is what we look like, y'all. This is what we look like. I think I look pretty good. He look like a bitch, but you know what? I look like a bitch. And this my color, <laughs> y'all. Y'all really don't know the struggle. Y'all don't know how much of a struggle it was to make him look decent. And this my color, like I feel like I don't. Oh my god. Y'all, do I look black? Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. See, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. You know what? Okay, fine. I guess this is as close as I'm gonna get. He's black, all right? He's, I'm letting you know right now, he's fucking black. I feel like he... Whatever, we're gonna finalize. Profile we're gonna finalize. reconstruction complete. We're done. Oh, I look good. Uh, I look good. Uh, God, I hope I look black. I look black. I feel like I look black on the fucking 
my TV screen is telling me I look black, but then I'm looking at this fucking computer screen and I feel like I look Mexican, so I don't know. Identification confirmed. You was all available talents, bitch. All right, there we go. All right, that took so long to make our characters, but I'm sorry, I had to make sure he was looking right. But okay, y'all, we are about to start, so I'm gonna shut up and let y'all watch. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, survivors, I mean explorers on Mars, discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. Oh my god, y'all, I wish, why? I wish this was real. I wish this was real. I would love, look. That's Jupiter right there, bitch. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we... I look them. good. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> I like Joker. I like him. But alright, this is the Armandi. I'm pretty sure it's called the Armandi. This is basically going to be our central hub. Um, as you can see, my name is Commander Shepard. I actually forgot that I was a commander. And I forgot exactly what that means. But um, we got to go see... What was his name? Captain Captain Anderson? We got to go see him and see what he wants. Um, we can wander around here and talk to people. Let's talk to Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? 
So remember I told you guys before, you can basically, um, you can basically pick your reactions to stuff and say, pick what you want to say in conversations, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm just going to say this. I'm on my way to give you guys are going to see later. Right now. With all due respect, wow, sir, we... maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. That's a good point. Um, I'm not gonna tell him to just do his job. I feel like if I was in this position, I would want my teammates to feel comfortable sharing their fucking thoughts with me. So, let's see. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. I wanna know, a, co a cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I can understand that, I really can't understand that. You know what, I'ma look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Dr. Chalkworth. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You're gonna do fine. Wait, wait, wait. Before I say that, um... Let's see. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. So, um, I know we had this conversation, but to be honest, I really don't want humans to, like, colonize throughout the universe because I already know they're going to fuck it up. Like, they fuck everything up. But if it was to happen, y'all, that is literally my fucking dream. Like... I love space. I love the universe. It is so fucking massive and there's so many fucking questions that we don't have answers to. And I just, I would just love to see j just sights from other planets. I want to see the other planets. I want to see the stars. I want to see comets. I want to see what space is like. Like, I really want to see it for myself. And like, basically, Mass Effect is the closest thing I'm going to get to this. So, <laughs> I, I really love this game. I really do. Anyways, you're gonna do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. And like I said, the things that you pick for your backstory are gonna tie into your character. And I think it's so fucking cool that they say things like this. Like they actually, it really does immerse you more and it like better connects you with your character because it really does feel like it's you. But anyways, this is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. There's no rice. Calm down. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. 
if y'all saw that thing in the top the top the bottom right wait where did he go where's the where's where's captain Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Oh, this Captain Anderson, you look far mm. more than a simple shakedown run. You look a little. See, look, I look, I look good. That's what they got. I look good. Like you can't, I look good. I'm the best looking one so far. But anyways, um, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? For what? Like, why are y'all lying to people? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. You don't a think I needed to know this? Prime unearthed some kind of don't fucking piss me during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm glad you're here to help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's I rare guess. to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I mean, first of all, let's not, let's not listen. I, <laughs> I didn't say I wanted the job. So. <laughs> if I refuse. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. No, so then you fucking do it. Fuck out of here, and you fucking do it. For myself, like fuck out of here. This is when y'all start pissing me the fuck off. You'll be in charge of the ground team. This isn't Security about me, but y'all gonna put my fucking name up. Fuck, it's for humanity. Now fuck humanity. The the fuck them. The fuck? Yo, he really about to piss me off. I'm, not, I'm, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. I wanna go. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I thought y'all said it was peaceful. I repeat, heavy casualties! Oh my god! We can't! Get They came out of nowhere! We need- Oh my god! Uh, oh! I thought y'all said it was peaceful! They came out- Oh! 
Oh. Oh my god. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. Oh. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Oh. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. God. Yo, what is that? Engaging stealth systems. Somebody oh was God, doing I'm some have serious to learn these controls here, again. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Yo, you are I'm garbage. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. What you talking about helping survivors is a secondary priority. Nihilus will scout out ahead. Garbage. Bitch, I'm helping the motherfucking survivors. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I'm gonna fucking we help the survivors. You're garbage. Uh, Secure, okay. Oh my God, Jenkins, your first mission. Oh God, what happened here? I know. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay. Use this. To okay. All right. All right. My pistol. My pistol. My pistol. This is how I aim. I remember. Okay. And I remember you can't fire your weapon too much because your shit is gonna overheat. So you gotta be careful about that. Come on, y'all. We gonna move in. Slowly. Damn. Are we supposed to kill those? I don't know if those are the enemies. All right, come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> oh, what here? I know. Hold L1 to switch weapons for your squad. Um, I mean, what y'all? I mean, y'all. Y'all know what's best for y'all. Shit. I don't got time. Listen, y'all gotta y'all gotta do what's best for y'all. I'm doing what's best for me. Like, period. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Jenkins! Jenkins! Did he die? Bitch! Fucking bitch! What's good, bitch? You wanna kill my bitch? Get that fucking bitch off the motherfucking sky right the fuck now, bitch! Jenkins! Oh my god, no! Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. No, he deserves a burial. I feel so bad. But I need you to stay Oh focused. my god. That was his first aye, aye, mission. Sir. Oh my god, I feel so fucking bad. I actually feel bad. Wait, my journal updated. You are in charge. Okay, so this is basically our objectives. Like, you know how in Skyrim we have our little quest list? This is basically the quest. Y'all, I feel so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Here it comes. Oh, wait, oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oops. Okay, anyway. Oh! I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Medigel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronic challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press triangle to use Medigel to heal your squad. Okay, well, we're good right now, but... I will do that when I need to. What? What enemies? 
bitch. You wanna keep playing with me, bitch? Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Fuck out of here, dumbass bitch. Our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. Press the options button to access the mission computer. Um. Okay. So we get to level up? Alright, we get to level up. Um. What I wanna upgrade. What I wanna upgrade. Uh, what I wanna upgrade. Uh, let me see. If I auto level up, what is gonna increase? Oh, wait, I didn't mean to. Okay, yeah, um... Uh, those are my... Yeah, we're gonna, we, we gonna do that, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. Alright. We're gonna do auto for him too. Alright. Let's continue. Attack your target, how's... Okay. Engaging target. Set a squad made ahead. Call them back. No, you don't gotta. I will leave. Okay, I don't think these things are like enemies, so. Where are they coming from? Oh, bitch. Fuck out of here, bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like, what's good? How do I do my little, um, my little techniques and stuff? Period, sis. Period. Period. Uh-oh! -uh. Oh my god, get them off him! Get them off him! Oh my god! You have got to be kidding me. Uh, oh my fucking god, you gotta be kidding me. No. No, now I'm pissed the fuck off. Now, now y'all done pissed me the fuck off. What's good? Cause now y'all done pissed me the fuck off, bitch. Now y'all done pissed me the fuck Thanks off. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Fighting these things? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. What the fuck is Why Geth? Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Let's fucking go. Move out. Come on, period, period. Join the squad. <laughs> okay. All right, let's, um... Level up Miss Ashley Williams or whatever. Oh. Period, sis. Alright, sis. Period. 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 Alright. 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 Really is. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Got these items, bitch. How do I. Wait, how do I. <laughs> How did they say to do it again? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. Oh wait, equipment, equipment, equipment. Um. Okay, wait. Is that better than what he have on now? Oh, it is. It is better than what he have on now. Oh, that's me. Um. Yeah, let's put that on. That's better than what I fucking have. <laughs> let's continue. Yo, that was so fucked up. Like, really? 
Y'all really sat there and did this to all of them? How do I run? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Move to the edge. Okay. Alright. What exactly am I shooting now? <laughs> what am I shooting? Oh, I see that bitch. Alright, what's good? Come on. Come on. Show yourself. Stop being a punk. Stop being a punk. Like, show yourself, bitch. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Alright, alright. Bitch, what's good? Think I'm motherfucking playing with your dumb ass. Let's go, come on, bitch. Think I'm motherfucking playing with you. Think I'm playing with y'all bitches. Where the other one at? He behind this rock? You wanna be behind rock? I'ma fuck you up. What's good? Come on. Bitch, think I'm playing with you. Fuck out of here. Bitch! Playing with your dumb ass. Fucking hoe. You're a fucking hoe. <laughs> Alright. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. It was not by our side, I promise you that. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright, let's go. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Hey. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. There go my little um techniques or whatever. Period. I'm gonna disable these motherfuckers. I don't like them. I don't fucking like them. Period. I don't fuck with them. Period, Miss Ashley. I like my little team. I really do. I like my team. Let me save. All right. Where are we going? They said it's up this hill. Am I going the right way? I feel like... Wait, didn't I just come from... I just came from this way. Right? I really... I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I think I'm going this way. Okay, yeah, we're going this way, right? Okay, you run by holding X. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Y'all, be careful. Good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yeah, period. Like, be careful, because I feel like some shit is about to pop off. Oh my god, what is that? What oh the? God, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Y'all are... Husk? Oh my god. Not really... Woo! Get out of here. Dirty. You're fucking dirty. These motherfuckers got skills and shit. Like, girl, come on. Girl, come on. Girl, come on. Girl, come on with all of that. Nobody's scared. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Okay. Let me see if I can hack this. Some lock objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omni Gel. Repeat the sequence of button presses before the time expires. Um, okay, so begin manual override. Let's try this. Oh yeah, I did it! Alright, period. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry! Close the door before Oh my god, survivors! Back. We found them! Yay! Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. 
No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Don't, don't be negative. I'm just, I'm just happy that we found survivors. I don't give a fuck what that captain said. If we find motherfucking survivors, we're going to help them. Period. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Wow. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? Alright, I'm no leaving hope? after this. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. You're a weirdo. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I'm not... All right, Williams, we out. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Yo, shut the up. Is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Like, period. Put that. Sorry. <laughs> I, he just went through a bad. I'm never gonna do that because he just went through hell. Oh, bitch! You thought you could hide from me, bitch? No. Um, how do I switch my weapons? No. No. No, 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 oh, oh, that's how you switch. What happened? Oh, oh, we met up with you? Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> oh! Wow! <gasps> What? Ha, bitch! Oh my god, he really sat there and betrayed him. Yo, what is that sound? Yo. Oh, 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 wait. Switch your weapon, switch your weapon, switch your weapon. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Come on, what's good? Like, you don't want it with me, bitch. You don't want it with me, bitch. You don't want it with me. You don't want it with me. Bitch, just sit, sit your fucking ass the fuck down, bitch. The fuck? Sit down. And the words of Jess. Sit down. The fuck down. The fuck you think this is? Yo, he is a snake. I remember not liking that bitch. Like, you're garbage. Uh, fucking trash. Oh my god, poor Nihilus. And everybody. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Let's, let, let's hear their version of the attack. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. 
They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Let's go see if we can find them. I have to go. Talking hey, about some Cole, don't find the fucking survivors. We're just survivor. a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Okay, thanks. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Don't take my kindness for weakness, bitch. Don't take my kindness for weakness. I'm telling you right now. And I believe this is us using the electronic skill, I want to say. So, yeah, I feel like if I was in a game, well, in a setting like this, I would definitely be focused on combat with a little bit of hacking on the side or whatever. I would. I would. Supporting the team and killing bitches too. <gasps> Commander, oh my god. Oh my god. You poor. Wow. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. Are he you was with us a long time. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. The other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Yup, he sure did. He's telling the Saren truth, y'all. killed him. Shot him right in the back. Just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you was fucking behind the crates. They didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> okay, I, I get that. I, I get that. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Lucky break for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't really want to think about it. Yeah, I bet you don't. But listen, at least you're alive. Like, listen. We need to find I know you got that survivor's guilt, but at least you're alive, Take bit. the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh, I can't even and you know what's you know what's fucked up. We can't even do anything. Oh my god, Nihilus. Uh, we can't even do anything cause that other bitch is a fucking specter. We literally can't even do anything. If we try and kill him, we gonna we gonna be thrown in jail or whatever the fuck. Like, that's so fucked up. Nihilus, I'ma get your job. Ah, what the fuck? Bit you wanna sneak up? You wanna catch a bitch off guard? Huh? You wanna get your ass the fuck out of here, you dumbass fucking bitch? You wanna fucking sneak up on a bitch? You got me fucked up. Come on. Cause I see you. What's good? What's good, bitch? What's fucking good? Like, you really got me fucked up, I'm telling you right now. Y'all about to get fucking sniped. You will get sniped. I promise you, you will get sniped. Oops. Bitch. Bring up your power wheel with R1. Oh yeah, this is how I use my little abilities. Okay. 
Overload damages enemy shields within a certain radius. Damping temporarily disab disables enemy biotics and tech. Sabotage overheats nearby enemy weapons. Oh yes, 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 dude, yes. Get behind, get behind, get behind. All right. I advise y'all to duck as well. I advise y'all to duck. Sit your ass the fuck down, bitch. <laughs> Sit your ass down. The fuck is wrong with you? What are y'all shooting at? Get the medical crate. Okay. Woo! All right, get behind this thing. Get behind the thing. Get behind the thing. Heal up. Heal up. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on. 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 Hit. 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 The fuck up. Shut your ass up. Shut up. Hit. Hit. Don't fuck with me. I'm not fucking playing with you. I will beat your fuck. I will beat your fucking ass, ho. You know what? Think I'm playing with your ass? Hold on. Think I'm playing with you? How do I? How do I sabotage? Sabotage that fucking bit? Did you do it? Sabotage. Uh, why you didn't sabotage? <laughs> Bitch. All right, do overload. Do overload. Do overload. Over. Fuck no. Hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep fucking with me. Keep playing with me, bitch. Keep fucking playing with me. <laughs> Alright. Let's ride the fucking train. <laughs> this shit is fun. I'm having so much fun. You're a fucking snake and I don't fucking like you. Except and I don't fucking like you. And bitch, we saw... Bitch, what we you did was fucking seen. We bitch, we... Bitch, that, you left evidence. You left the evidence. Like, we already know about you. We know about you, baby. We know about you. Oh my god, he got the fucking beacon. Okay, I'm not scared of y'all, so, like, what's good? He really sat there and got these shits working for him, like... And y'all gonna see what's so fucked up about this. Like, y'all really gonna see what's so fucked up about this, like... Oh my god, disarm! Disarm! The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Alright, fuck that. Like, bitch, you're not destroying shit! You're not destroying evidence for shit! Let me get my sniper! Let me get my sniper! Wait, let me get my sniper, bitch! Bitch, they really got shields out this bitch. Bitch, really? Bitch, fuck out of here with that. Bitch, fuck out of here with all of that. Bitch, we're gonna get fucked up. Come on, show your, show your fucking face, bitch. Show your face around me, bitch. Fucking think I'm playing with your dumb ass. Where the other one at? Where your friend? No, 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 no. Where your friend at? Oh my god, I need to hurry up. Y'all, don't let these bitches get the best of you. Don't let them get the fucking best of you, y'all. I gotta do this shit. I'ma help y'all. Do not let them get the best of you. I swear to God. Don't lose to these ugly bitches. They're ugly. Y'all. Y'all. Bitch! Uh, <laughs> fuck out of here. I told you. I'm not playing. Alright, what the other one? What the other one? What the other one? What the other one? Oh, oh okay, okay. Alright, right here, right here. Oh my God, my shit is jammed. They... I can't even see where they at. Y'all be careful. Y'all, please be careful. Can't even see where they I think I'm playing with your ass, but I'm really fucking not. Like, I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. I'm playing, bitch. Like, I'm playing. I will overload all of y'all hoes. Where the last one? Bitch! Fucking bitch. Open that motherfucking crate, period. Period. Where, where the last one at? Period. Disarm. Disarm. You're not destroying no motherfucking evidence of shit. Ho. 
All right, where are we going? I guess I'm just gonna go this way because I feel like we're supposed to go further in. Okay, I see enemies, so we're going the right way. That's what that mean. That's what that fucking mean, bitch. Wait, how do I? Wait, change the, change the fucking weapon. All right. Um. Um. I want my. I want. My. Bitch. Bitch. You think I'm playing with you? You think I'm playing with you? <laughs> Woo! Woo Oops. Sorry, I'm, tr I'm trying to switch the fucking... Okay. Period. Blow that bitch right up. Alright. Oh, I'm thinking this is Skyrim for a minute, and I could fucking um loot his body. Um, I want this crate. Thank you. All right. The beacon, Meridius beacon. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Yeah, Saren. Saren did something. Girl, be careful! Don't walk right up to it! Ashley. I'm saying, Ashley, don't walk right up to it, girl! Oh my god, now I'm in it! Oh no, oh god. Oh, We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Ha, ah, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad. I advise you not to come for me. <laughs> Doctor, I Doctor really Chapa, advise you not to come for me. Up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? What the fuck happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon It now? was your fucking fault. What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. 
Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like what? that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Whatever. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of he's a fucking stuff. hater, and he's fucking ugly. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. Because he want that power. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I'm not sure. Just before I lost consciousness. I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. There's nothing to report. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it, bitch, because you ain't killing me. I promise you that, bitch. You're not getting this bitch right here. I'm too, I look way too good. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. They cannot help us. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the council will revolt. You think they're going to believe us? I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. They are not going to believe- He'll okay. want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. You really think they're gonna believe us? What a fucking idiot, but you know what, y'all? We're gonna end this part off here. Tell me what y'all think about the game. I, oh my god, I don't even want to stop. Like, I want to keep going. I really want to keep... <sighs> god. Let's go just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I was going to stop, but y'all, once I get started with this game, I can't just stop. Hi, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. He, he'll, he'll definitely be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. No, you earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. All right, well, I should go, but I, I like Ashley. Speak with Joker. She's, she's nice. Goodbye, Commander. I definitely like Ashley. Um, I need to go speak with a Joker. I like Joker too. 
And Kaden is actually really cool. I don't know where Kaden is, but whatever. Hi, Joka. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh my god, y'all look at this. So cool. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, oh my god, god. I want to cry, like, out of fucking excitement, no, like, oh my god, god, I wish this was... Why can't this be me? I love it, I love this game. I fucking love this game, yo. And it looks so good on the PS4, like, the visual upgrades, you could really notice them, it looks amazing. All right, so this is the Citadel. This is basically the capital of the universe. Honestly, it's the capital, and this it's where a lot. Of, well, they're gonna. The they're gonna would explain. would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Like I said, they don't Captain give a fuck. Anderson, they don't care. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. Don't give us they no are. fucking attitude, bitch. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, it's the truth. So I don't Seren's tell you. a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the I don't Spectres. give a fuck about that shit. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was All right, destroyed. well, that's not my fault. That's Seren's And I don't give a fuck. His. Then we exactly. I'm sorry about Nihilus, I really am, but I don't give a fuck about Saren, fuck him, and fuck this fucking mission, and fuck that shit. Otherwise, I don't give a fuck about what you're saying, bitch. Excuse to keep you out of this Shut fucking crusty ass lips. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Right, Ashley? Right. Like, dead ass. All right, important locations are marked on your map. Open the mission computer with options to access it. Um, let me say, number one, <laughs> let me say, like, period. But yeah, the Citadel is basically the uni the capital of the universe. Um, a lot of different species and like a lot of different, um, I guess you could say aliens gather here like these things. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just, this is serious. <laughs> My reputation is <laughs> at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. I would love to live here. I really would. Well, mm, yeah, I mean, because the Citadel is, like, really pretty. It's really pretty, but I mean... Mm. Because mm, the motherfucking, them, um, these council bitches, I don't fucking like them. Fucking stupid ass bitches. I know they wasn't. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about humanity, okay? And granted, I don't fucking care. I think humans, to be honest, are a blight. 
at least on Earth, because we have fucking fucked this planet up a lot. But, bitch, these humans in Mass Effect, they're not like that. So, bitch, stop fucking hating. Nobody's even fucking worried about you. Life fucking Sarah's period. hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. What happened? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Hmm. We'll see. Wait, I want to talk to you. I want to keep the Council waiting. Fuck the council. I'm gonna talk to you later. Like, I don't, I really don't like, I'm, I'm, I don't give a fuck about them. I'm telling you right now. Like, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking like y'all. Y'all have some fucking bitches. Y'all don't give a fuck about me. So why should I give a fuck about y'all? Fuck the council. Period. Period. You may be right. Mm. Whatever. Girl, come on. The hearing's Girl, come on. Started. Come on. I was gonna walk right past you, but okay. I don't like him either. I'm sorry. The minute you said that survivors were um secondary. The Girl, come on. Some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker how? is hardly compelling. How? Truth. How? I how is he? Accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Exactly. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard, the one who let the beacon get destroyed. So how did you get involved in this? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. Exactly. Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. That's a lie. The Eden Prime report. That's a lie. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? <laughs> right, insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. Nobody's even You're talking about that. Like, y'all don't see this? Y'all don't... Nobody's even talking about that. Nobody's talking about that. There's no right that. to say that. That's not his decision. Nobody's even talking Shepard's about that. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this Exactly, mission. so why is this he bringing it up? has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Like, quit protecting him. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. I shouldn't even have to say what this to you. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? I told you they How wasn't... Like, this was a waste of time. This, kind of this was a waste of time. I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence. Like, what did I say? This is... Like, I knew it. Dumb. Dumb. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? No, what's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. What's exactly? I really don't give a fuck. Y'all could all suck my dick. The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Okay. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. All right. I'm glad Bye. To see justice was served. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This meeting is adjourned. Bye. 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 I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Bye. Waste the fucking time. Waste the time. I told y'all it was no fucking point. They wasn't gonna believe us. They wasn't gonna listen to shit. Dumb. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. It wouldn't have made a difference either way. He's uh... working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Well, the council ain't gonna do shit for us, so what you wanna do? We need to deal with Saren We need to ourselves. do this ourselves. As a Spectre, 
He's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. Yeah, I tried That's to talk right. to him, but then y'all went to me like, don't keep the council waiting. Report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Don't tell me what the Captain fuck to do. I'm only taking care of it because I know it's not going to get done unless I fucking do it. So I'm going to do it because I'm going to go talk to him. probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Alright. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. <laughs> Here is where we are officially going to end this off, guys. Um, Let me know what you guys think about this game and if you guys want me to continue. Obviously, I'm going to continue because, bitch, I want to I wanna play this. Like, I want to keep going, but I know I need to stop because this shit is going on for way too long. And it's taking up mad space on my computer, so we're going to end it off right here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm the baddest bitch in the game so far. <laughs> And Saren, go fuck yourself. The council is fucking useless. They could go suck a dick. I don't like fucking none of them. Um, the ambassador is a fucking crusty lip ass bitch. He stops trying to tell me what the fuck to do. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. Let me move toward the door. And with that being said, ciao, Bella.